Good morning, um, ladies and gentlemen in Christ Jesus. This morning, I just want to greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I have a dream um, on August 5th, um, 2018. This dream was given to me around 8.30 a.m. in the morning. In this dream, I was there was a wedding taking place, and this wedding appears to be it was taking place up. It appears as if it was taking place on a high-rise building. I had something to do with this wedding, but I'm I I'm not sure exactly what, but I remember that. I was down looking up. I didn't see anyone. I heard cheers and laughter and just the typical, um, you know, joy that comes along with a wedding. Um, I saw a lady and I saw the groom. The groom, there was something about this groom. There was a, there was something about him and it left a mark in my mind. Um, and that scene had ended and I entered into another scene. This scene that I entered into was a fearful um, thing it was a fearful sight what I saw in this dream I was standing inside of my house it was it's not my real house in life but in my dream it appears that that was my home I was looking it was as if um, something was gonna happen it's as if I was anticipating something to happen. In this dream, there was a fear. But then the next thing I know, I looked through the window and I saw a giant cloud of blackness and smoke. It was very fearful. It was a terrifying, very scary sight. And I was, and as I looked through the window, I saw it, it was propelling towards where I was. It was just consuming the hurt. It was just coming with such force. It was coming with such violence. It was just coming with rage. It's as if this darkness and smoke was, it was coming for vengeance. It was coming, it was evil. You can tell that there was evil, it was just a scary, very frightening, very, very frightening um, scene. And I remember being so afraid, very scared, very, very, very terrified because it was a black smoke and it was just consuming everything in its path. It was just consuming everything. You could not see anything. It was a giant, giant blackness and smoke. The next thing I knew, I was outside. And I looked and I saw a patrol car. This patrol car was beeping. That's all I remember. It was just beeping. Beep. I didn't see anyone in the um, patrol car, but I saw the smoke and blackness was... It was at the front. It was about to consume it. It was about to consume this patrol car. The next thing I know, I was running. My husband and my son, they were in front of me. They were running and I was chasing them. And I was calling out to them. I was calling their names. I was telling them, repent, repent, repent. Then next thing i know I, I didn't see them anymore in the dream but i remember saying god i repent 
God, I repent. Jesus, I repent. Jesus, I repent. And next thing I know, the, the darkness was coming very close to me. It was very close to where I was. This darkness further in, where I was, it was a mist. It was misty. It was a misty darkness. I could see in it. But further in, it was very black and smoke black and and I, where I was I could see a, a flying saucer it was a one of those UFO saucer flying saucer and and I was looking at it and it was flying it flew out of my path it flew to the left and as and as I was looking at it that's where I know the dream had ended. It appears that there was other things in this dream. I don't remember. But this, this smoke was evil. This blackness was evil. You could tell that there was evil in this um, black, thick smoke. And that is where um, that dream um, ended. The Lord did not allow me to um, enter into the darkness because... Our God, He knows our weaknesses and He knows that I am really one of those people that are, you know, is afraid of the dark. This is the third time the Lord um, showed me darkness, um, blackness. Um, once I had a near death experience and um, He took me in a blackness and He asked me, is this where you want to spend the rest of your young life? I was only 15 at the time. This was 20 plus years ago. And um, the other time was last year after I had given back my life to him. I had black backslided for a long time. I was out in this world, you know, just like everybody else. And I gave back my life. He called me. It was a calling. And I surrendered. And um, this time, last last year, I asked him to show me a glimpse of hell. I just, I just simply, it was a prayer in my heart. I didn't even pray it out loud, loudly. And I remember falling asleep that same morning. It was summertime. And um, I remember being in a place where the darkness I could hear people I could hear the commotion I didn't see anyone but it was there was blackness and I was saying to someone in this dream I don't know who it was I, I was saying to the person I was reading my bible and I did not realize that it was so dark and the darkness came upon me and I was scared to move from where I was but where I was, there was a light, a, a light that was shining on me. There was a light where I was. And I was talking to someone. I don't know who it was. But I was saying to this person, I think it maybe it's the Lord. I, that's what I am thinking. I didn't see him, but that's what I'm thinking. And I was saying, I'm reading my Bible and I didn't realize it was this dark. And I was very, very scared. And that's when I find myself back into my house in a very b bright yellow light. It was a, it was whitish, yellowish, but it was very. I've never, I've never seen that light anywhere. It's very bright. And this dream, where I saw this blackness coming up on the earth, I think this dream. Couple days after this dream, I was read, reading Revelation because that's the book I'm in right now, and I was reading Revelation nine, and I saw where the fifth seal was open, where the um, the angel was given to um, the keys to l release the the, the 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 demons um, from hell, and that's where the black smoke and and that's when I realized that this dream was similar. This seal. It is similar to this dream. And you know, this is my um, warning to everyone that if you're not saved, please 
give your life to the Lord. We are in the last of the last days. This is, this is not a time to be caught up in the world and, and the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and celebrities and their lies and, and, and political gimmicks and um, being caught up in the media. The American media, they're not telling us what is going on. You would never hear anything. It's just business as usual. It's just lies and cover up and, you know, President Trump this, Russia this, and President Trump, Russia, nothing, 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 you know, nothing for the good of the people. It's just pure lies and celebrities and it's just a whole gimmicks. People, you have to read your Bible to get the truth. You have to read God's word in order to understand what God is saying to us. We are in the last days. Read um, St. Matthew 24. Read the Bible. Everything that the Lord told his disciples that was going to happen, it is happening now. You may not see it on the um, evening news. You may not see it, but it is happening. It is happening. Everything is taking place right now. And this is not the time for us to be caught up in um, more material things, more this, more that. There is life after death. There is life. There is life after death. There is life after eternity begins after you die. This life is just a test for all of us. Who you're going to choose? Are you going to choose um, the world? Are you going to choose um, Lucifer? Are you going to choose... Um, what the world want, politician? Are you going to choose the world's way or are you going to choose Jesus Christ who is the way, he is the truth, he is the life and he is the only way to God? There is no other way to God except through Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter who, they, who else they want to say it's a lie. There is no, you don't go to no confession to no Pope and no priest. You don't go to Bo Muhammad or Buddha. It is only Jesus. Jesus is the only truth. And it is time for us to um, take care of our souls and, 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 not, and not this world. The things of this world and to be deceived anymore. There is life after death. And I'm telling you, these things in Revelation now is the book that we are entering to. We are in this book. Read it for yourself. It is a dreadful time to be under hurt. Get your garments right with the Lord. Go before God every day. Turn from your sin and your wicked ways. Turn to God. We are all sinners. I am a sinner. You is, we are all sinners. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. It doesn't matter what title comes before your name. You are, you are a sinner. You are fallen short. Go before God. And tell him every day that you are, you are falling short and you're asking him for forgiveness and to wash, to be washed in the blood of Jesus. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. That's the only thing. Nothing else. Grace alone is not it. Yes, we thank God for grace, but grace is not what saves us. It's the blood of Jesus Christ. Last year, Jesus sent me a message with an angel. When I was seeking him, I was asking him, Lord, have I, am I saved? Do I need to be rebaptized? And I was asking him to give me dreams of a particular thing. And sometimes we ask God for something. He give us better than we ask. And I remember waking up to a vo an angel telling me that the one whom sent me, this is exactly what the angel said, the one whom sent me wants you to know that. You are saved by the blood of Jesus. So people, we are not saved alone by grace. We are saved by the blood of Jesus. Confession is made with the, the mouth. You confess him. And you ask for forgiveness and turn from your wicked ways. Just don't repentance mean to change. To confess and to change. To turn from the things that you used to do. You can't be drinking and smoking and, and, and I'm sure there are many of us that are struggling. I am still struggling with things. But you have to go before him every day and cry out to him. He is able. He is just. He is loving. God loved us so much. He gave his only son. And Jesus laid down his life. Nobody took it from him. He loved us so much. Nobody took him. He, he died a horrible death for you and I. 
Repent, people. Repent because Jesus is coming. Turn from your evil and wicked ways and repent. We are all sinners. We, are, we have all fallen short of the glory of God. But repentance is the only way to be washed in the blood of Jesus. To turn from sin, sexual immorality, lies. A little leaving, leaving at the whole lump, people. There is no little sin. There is no little anything. And we all, we are all struggling. I am struggling. We are all struggling. If you ask all of, uh, all of um, the believers that are saved, they are struggling with something. We are not perfect. The Bible said we were shaping in iniquity. If you fill out an application right now, you have to tell a lie. The world wants you to tell a lie to get that job. Satan is the one that is running this world. But you don't have to be conformed to this world. Read your Bible and renew your mind daily. And ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit. God is just, he's able, he's good. He's a good God, only he is good. Turn to Jesus. Jesus loves us and he's calling out. He's knocking at your door, people. Open your door and let him in. Because hell is real. It is a real place. Hell is a black, black place. It is, it is a place that nobody wants to see. I have had visions. I have had visions of demons. I have had visions, visions where the Holy Spirit show me the different things of hell a few other um, um visions of scenes of hell there are demons and they are real repent because if you do not repent hell hell is enlarging itself for those who do not accept jesus christ buddha and muhammad, muhammad cannot help you i'm telling you they cannot help you Turn to the living God, the God of Israel. Only he can help you. He's not an idol. He's God. All power. He's God of creation. He's the only God of infinite wisdom and knowledge. He give it to us. Go to him if you need to be changed. He is true and he's trust. If you need visions, ask him. I ask. And thousands of people on YouTube ask him. Ask the Holy Spirit and he will give it to you. God is not a respecter of man. He will give it to you. Cry out to him, sinner man. C cry out to him. God is oh, God delighted in mercy. He is at his throne right now, waiting with open arms for one of us to repent to him. Repent, people. God is love and he loves us. But I tell you, God is also a consuming fire. God, anybody who, dis, um, who refused Jesus Christ's son, who died such a horrible death for us, I'm telling you people, you are going to feel his wrath. You will feel his wrath. I'm telling you, repent. He's not playing. Repent. God loves us. But God is also a consuming fire. The Bible said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fear him. He is love, but you must fear him also. Nobody wants that outer black and outer darkness. Repent from sin and turn to Jesus Christ. This is all I have to say. The fifth seal of Revelation 9. Read it, people. That's the dream. That is the dream. And the Lord is coming soon. There will be a rapture. I had another dream from last couple months ago I think I got it in June where the Lord I saw him coming on a horse I'm going to put up that video too but I'm telling you people repent Jesus is coming soon stop laughing and mocking and scoffing it, 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 it's, it's not going to be beneficial to you in the hand it won't be because when you die you're going to realize that uh oh it's too late you cannot go back unless God have mercy on you and send you back like he did to me. Repent, people. Repent in the name of Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Hallelujah.